what are some of the most miraculous things you've seen in your career as a hypnotist, be it weight loss or maybe physical healing or law of attraction? Okay, well, I had a, a lady who came to me, her name was Jen, this was over 10 years ago now, and uh, she had a, she was 180 pounds over her ideal weight. Mm -hmm. So not that she was 180 pounds, she was 180 pounds over her ideal weight. So it was a very um, overweight person, and she, her mother brought her there. I mean, it was, it was the next stop before suicide. She was, they had tried everything else and it didn't work, and they were giving hypnosis a shot. They, they figured, why not? So I worked with her for five sessions, worked on things in my weight loss protocols, such as um, stop eating this, start eating that, start exercising, start believing in yourself, get motivated, get look toward a compelling future. So we worked through different sessions on this, then I didn't hear from her for about a year uh, or more. And I got a handwritten letter from her eventually, it's back when people used to write letters by hand, and uh, it said that she had lost the, the weight that she wanted to lose, she had married the man of her dreams, which in her dream it was like a six foot one architect they had. I think a kid and a kid on the way. So not only was she alive, but she was thriving. So to me, that's rather than being a testimonial for me, that's a testimonial of the power of hypnosis. And beyond that, it's just the resilience of the human spirit. I mean, people have this drive to get better and to, to live a powerful, you know, the best life they can. Oh, that's amazing. So any other miracles? I've seen a lot of things. When I had my office in Beverly Hills, I got to see a lot of uh, producers who were down and out mm -hmm. uh, come in and I work with them and they get back on top of their game. A lot of them I'm not allowed to. I don't have permission to, to mention mm -hmm. their names, but I've seen a lot of that. I've seen a lot of um, rags to riches type stories or riches to rags and then after seeing me, riches again. So I get to see a lot of that. Um, I myself, you know, having lost 30 pounds, I'm one of the, the miracles, uh, the products <laughs> of hypnosis. Yeah, and I didn't even realize I was overweight because I, I hide it pretty well, but I talked to a nutritionist and found out I was, so I got on it with hypnosis. So I get to see um, a lot of stuff like that, like a lot of you know weight loss and stopping smoking and you know, just getting back on track financially, not just for greediness, but for, you know, some of these people have families and they, and they start businesses that help a lot of people. So I get to see a lot of uh, good financial things happen in people's lives. Well, speaking of financial, tell us about the law of attraction. What are the three keys to attracting things to oneself? Well, I think that as I wrote in my book with uh, Frank Mangano, uh, You Can Attract It, and John Astaroff wrote the foreword for us, um, I think that you have, to, you have to figure out what you want, you have to figure out what you don't want, and you have to accept what you want into your life. I'd say those are the main keys. Figure out what you want, what you don't want, and then what you do want, you have to accept it because it's going to show up. And when it does show up, you have to accept it in because people who haven't done the groundwork, who aren't prepared for success, who don't feel good about themselves, aren't going to accept that change. They're just going to say, oh, that's not for me, or oh, I don't deserve it, or oh, that Sabotage can't be real. It. Yeah, that yeah. thermostat's gonna go off and bring them back down to where they feel comfortable. So my goal is always to let go of that thermostat and let them break through that mm -hmm. so that they can have this new compelling life that they want. So that thermostat would once again be those beliefs like, oh, wait a second, it, all rich people are bad, so if I get money, that means I'm bad, but it's all unconscious. Yeah, you yeah. You know it's there. Right, it's so like a thermostat in a room, when it gets too hot or too cold, it's gonna kick in, it's gonna mm -hmm. keep it in that range. Mm -hmm. When people get too much money or too little money, it'll kick in, keep them in that range. Unfortunately, that range for a lot of people is a lot lower than they consciously want it to be, as you mentioned. Right. So we have to let go of that arbitrary range that they created from things they've been told from their youth and let it go. So we see it in money, we see it in weight, we see it in happiness. People have a range they feel comfortable within. We've got to get them out of that so they can have unlimited success.